at San Diego Comic Con, uh, it was announced that the Russo brothers are going to be doing the next two Avengers movies, mm-hmm. and that there are changes. And so there's no longer the Kang Dynasty uh, movie. That movie is now called Doomsday. And that will be followed by Secret Wars a year later, May of 2026 and May of 2027. And they made it clear that Kang is getting out of here. And the new big bad will be Dr. Doom. And I'm sure you've all seen by now that Robert Downey Jr. will be playing Dr. Doom. He said, and I quote, new mask, same task. Now, I know you haven't been a Marvel fan since 08, but you are a Marvel fan. Have you seen everything? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you saw Deadpool. Did you see Deadpool? It just came out, so probably not. All right, well, it don't matter because, spoiler alert, you don't have to see it. But, I mean, I plan to. I just haven't. I mean, it, it hasn't even been out a week. You're right. Anywho, uh, I know you've seen 99% of Marvel. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are your thoughts on this movie? I don't know a lot about Dr. Doom, I gotta be honest. So, okay, well, what do you think about Robert Downey Jr.? Back. Formerly Iron Man, now playing the big bad guy of Marvel. Okay, so this is what I had questions about, but I don't necessarily want to ask those questions here because comic people are uh, mean. So <laughs> we are not. You guys know what you know. And so you guys are like up here when it comes to like having these conversations. And then I'm somewhere, I'm, I don't even consider myself like in the middle. I consider myself somewhere down here. You know, I, I'm very like top, top line, uh, you know, knowledge of this stuff. I don't mind diving into it and I'm interested in it. I'm very curious about it, but I don't have all of the backstory. I've never. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Forget, forget about all of that. Just, but. Just- what do you think about the 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 biggest good guy in their in their universe who sacrificed himself to destroy the last big bad guy now no longer playing that role but instead replacing the guy he erased as the new big bad guy but that's kind of my question here like how does this work so we're just like it's kind of like a soap opera where, like, the character, like, goes and does other things with their life. So they're no longer on the show. And then they put someone else in there under a different name, um, under, the, under the same name. And now, you know, we're, we're looking at the same character, but different. What I mean is, we know that Robert Downey Jr. was, was Iron Man. Correct. So are we just to pretend he wasn't Iron Man? No. And I and if they're smart, they will they will play that. Uh, right. They will play that up. So that's my question here. Like, are we going into this with the knowledge that this person used to be something else? Or are we going into this like he's a completely new person in the universe. That's that's where that's where it starts for me. Like that's where my head my head started spinning because I was like, are we going to know? Like, are they going to? Is there going to be a nod to Iron Man in this? I'm whole sure process? there will be. Um, which I think is cool because if you, le- I think what's cool about Marvel sometimes is that they let us in on what's happening, especially when they do like those. Um, the shorts that they do or when they do those end credit scenes, I feel like it's them letting the audience in. So I think it would be interesting to kind of, like, I don't want, I don't want to pretend that he's just this new guy, you know, I, I, I would prefer if they acknowledge it in some way so that we're not like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but 
That was my first thought. I think it's cool to get Robert Downey Jr. back. I liked him as Iron Man. I thought Iron Man was cool. Um, all of them were not created equal, but Iron Man was good. Um, so yeah, I would be I would be interesting to see him play a villain, just because, you know, like you said, he was one of the good guys. But yes. now he's going to be evil. And that's, yeah, so, you know, that's interesting. Yeah, the answer to your question is both. Okay. Yes, we're supposed to know he was Iron Man. Yes, we're supposed to pretend that never happened because of what? The multiverse. And so, in Loki, we mm -hmm. saw Victor t t t Timely. We saw alligator Loki, right. who clearly didn't look anything like Loki. We saw whatever the little boy's name, little boy Loki, who did not look like Loki. We saw old man Loki, right? The old guy with the costume who sacrificed himself. Yes. We saw many different versions of Loki. And the same is true of Multiverse of Madness. In Multiverse of Madness, we met other characters who don't look anything like the characters we know, right? So uh, this will continue to happen. In fact, they have made it clear that John Krasinski will not be Mr. Fantastic. That was only for Multiverse of Madness because, fast forward, Pedro Pascal is going to be Mr. Fantastic. So what a person visually looks like can be different from universe to universe, right? That being said, I believe, I don't, I think it's pretty easy to figure out that this Dr. Doom will not come from the main universe. He will come from another universe. This is not from a comic. I'm telling you my opinion, uh, just in case people are confused. So I think it's pretty easy to see that this Dr. Doom will come from another universe and he will just look like Tony Stark. I think it will be smart, and I think they know this, and I think they will do this. I think they will play it up, and I could even see Dr. Doom using it to his advantage because Dr. Doom is a smart, methodical man of both science and magic. And so I think Dr. Doom will see that at some point somebody looks at him and says, Tony? And we'll use that to his advantage to probably fool some of the main Earth, quote-unquote, heroes. What the heck? Now, that being said... How do you feel about it? I have mixed feelings. I think it's exciting that we now know who Doctor Doom will be played by. We know it's a very capable actor. And I even wonder, did this happen? Bless you. I even wonder, did this happen? I'm going to just call the title of this episode, Sneaks. I even wonder, uh -huh. did this happen because of Oppenheimer? I wonder, did Marvel and the people of Marvel see the evil side of Robert Downey Jr., him kind of being a villainous guy in Oppenheimer and yeah. say, hmm. Maybe, yeah, maybe this works. Maybe he could do that for us. Yeah. Now, as awesome as that is for Robert Downey Jr., as cool as it is to see them kind of flip him from a good guy to a bad guy, like a WWE storyline, you mean to tell me there's no actors in the world that you could have chosen to be Dr. Doom, nobody on the planet. You couldn't find anyone else who's capable. I have mixed feelings. Who 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 would you have preferred? Or who who do you think could have been, not necessarily preference, but who do you think could have been a contender for Dr. Doom? Mad people. Like to me, there are so many talented actors. Yeah. That you could have had mad people. Be Doctor Doom. In fact, I think that's the fly shit about the multiverse that they haven't really been doing. Y'all keep talking about the multiverse, but we keep saying the same guy. Why Thor looks the same everywhere? Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't get it. Like, it's the multiverse. There's all these rules that we could break. Yeah, I ain't really getting fly with the multiverse. And maybe it's coming. Maybe I'm impatient. But I'm saying thus far, uh, it ain't been so fly. And so that's what I'm confused about. Like, you could even have mad people and, like, the fan favorite become the person of any role, right? Like, you're going to use Captain America from another universe. I'm giving an example. They're not doing this that I know of. But if you're going to use Captain America from another universe, they don't got to be the same guy that played Cap. You could use anybody. Dashing D could be Captain America in one universe. That's the fly shit. And that's what they showed us in Loki season one. Yeah, they did. But we haven't really seen much of that. And so this is confusing to me. I think you could have took mad people and used them as Dr. Doom. I think there could have been a large number of people who could have played this role. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. is super talented, but there are other people who could be Dr. Doom. Well, I kind of think you're onto something, too, like with Oppenheimer. I mean, it's Robert Downey Jr., so he didn't need Oppenheimer, right? But, But with Oppenheimer, there was a certain level of success that that film reached. So... Perhaps it's that's part of it, right? Like you know, re imagine. Imagine if they made Kevin Spacey come back and be Doctor Doom. Oh man, that'd have been crazy. That would have been my end, uh, the end of me in the multiverse. <laughs> okay. You think Kevin? Never mind. Never mind. I'm just saying that would have been a plot twist. That's all. I was being silly. But there's mad people like Daniel Craig could have did it. He's super talented. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. And New Cavill was rumored at one point. Like, there's mad talented actors. Like, if I just sit here and go through a list, we'll be here all day. But there's mad talented actors like Christian Bale. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's true. Come on, man. Like, I'm just saying people I like now. But there's mad people who could have could have did this. You know what I mean? Brad Pitt. Who cares? It would have been super fly to me if they let Ed Norton be Dr. Doom. Because once upon a time, he was the Hulk, and then that never happened again. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What saying? Yeah. And Ed Norton goes in. Listen, we could do this all day. I'm yeah. going to stop Very now. talented. But there are so many talented actors. It didn't have to be Robert Downey. No, but it's Robert like, Downey Jr. It's like they wanted to make to up the, the bad... Go ahead, you first. I was going to say, Robert Downey Jr. has been putting his hat into the ring, I feel like, since before Oppenheimer came out. Like, you'd, you'd see him do these random interviews, and, and people would ask him, like, would you ever come back to the MCU? And he was like, I mean... Yeah, very, that's fine. But there's you think, like do you think trying. there's a shortage of actors who want to be in no, Marvel? Of course not. That's what I'm saying. Like no, but I, so I, many I, people you could have used. And I was gonna say, I think Marvel is just trying to make up the terrible shit they've been doing to their fans. And so they're like, you know what, fans, we know you love Robert Downey Jr. We know you miss him, so here you go. Yeah, but it's just like <laughs> your fans. Good. So many talented actors you could have chosen. Yeah, that's it. That's my thought. No, I get it. I I understand. I mean, listen, I defer to you. You are the the expert here when it comes to this stuff, not me. So. Well, I'm not even talking about comics. I'm just talking about acting. Like this is no, an acting can't. conversation. I get it, but I guess what I'm saying is you you know you know the ins and outs of of what has happened with Marvel for so long, so you can. I, see I think the- I think they're doing themselves a disservice. I think they're trying really hard to save this saga, but I think they should have been introduced Doctor Doom. I think this is a mistake. I think Doctor Doom is such a great character that your phone is wobbling. I think that Doctor Doom is such a great character and such a, a, a character that you could do so much with that introducing him at this point is really weird and like short-lived. Mm-hmm. It's not 
it's not a, there are not a ton of movies you're going to see Dr. Doom in before this movie ends. And you've been hyping up Kang this whole time. All right, cool. You're going to get rid of Kang. I don't really like that. I feel like you should have just replaced him. But whatever. That's what they're doing. I just think it's a misstep. I feel like you should have waited till Marvel restarted at the end of Secret Wars to, to bring in Dr. Doom. It's weird to bring in the big bad guy at this point. Like, I don't know. He's the ringer. Yeah, and I feel like Doctor Doom is is a dope character who has like this long lasting, long standing feud with Fantastic Four, and we're getting Fantastic Four right before the end. So it's like kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I guess it remains to be seen. Yep. What he happened? who remains. He does not remain. Not anymore. No. He is gone. In more than one way. So gone. 